Alright. So, I'm recording, I am not live streaming. So, hello, and welcome to another episode. I am DeCynic, and this is Escape from Tarkov. That's pretty bad. All right. So, what you're watching is about 10 days worth of footage. I don't get to play much. What I do get to play I record. Or I stream. What's that? Nothing. There's a guy coming. There's a guy. There's a dude on the other side of that wall. I can tell you that. There's only one way over here, and that's through there. What do we got here? What is this thing? This thing's hideous. The 7.62 shoots a bullet. can't see. Oh. Okay, I'm repositioning myself. What? Where? Never even saw him. And there is Tarkov, right there. All right. So we can determine from those few shots that this game is very difficult. How difficult? Well, I've been playing games since 1996, and this is by far the most difficult game I've ever played. Without a doubt, it creates an element of fear that is not, it's not real, but because you will earn your weapons, because you will earn your health, repairing health, food, water, uh, and also there's a crafting element. So you can make all of those. You can make water, you can make the food, and you can also make weapons and helmets uh, all the stuff. So it's a complicated game. Let's not pass judgment on it too harshly. But it's extremely difficult. Because when you go in, if you should die, you lose what you bring in. Very important that you extract out. If you don't, you lose all your stuff. And that can be very frustrating. You know, I just went through a game wipe where the whole game was wiped and all my loot was wiped. I don't have a problem with that. I mean, I'm 
fully supportive of what these guys are doing. This is a great game. So the fear comes from losing your guns. They're very important. You achieved them. They cost you a lot of money, what have you. You crafted them. Should you die? And I went in as a player scav just a moment ago to warm up. Okay, so let's go to character. And let me tell you how I'm going to do this today. <clears throat> it's going to be real simple. Oh, I'm not going to take one of these. I'm going to take one of these. I'm just going to go in with a backpack and whatever happens, happens. Alright, do you want me to take one of these? Fine, I'll take one of these. I'll take a chest plate. That's fine. I got some heals. I got some keys. Uh, I don't feel like going to customs right now. Customs is what these keys are for. Well, let's try to do this then. Let's go in with just a knife and see if we can't get what's inside the truck because I need a machinery key to get inside that truck. Haven't found the truck yet, but I will. I've seen it on YouTube, so. All right, I'm going in with this. Escape from Tarkov. PMC. So when you go in as a PMC, you're taking in the stuff that you earned. If you go in as a scav, it's kind of like, uh, if you should make it out, you get all of his stuff too. And all the stuff that you get when you make it to the end. There's other variations of the game to make the game more simple, but I'm not interested in that. I make things very difficult for myself because that's just who I am. Ask anybody. Uh, 10.30? Yeah, I'll do that. <clears throat> Where's my mouse? Alright, so as the music plays in the background, what can I tell you? So I'm spawning on one side of the map. I have to make it to the other side of the map. And stand in the extract for like 8 or 10 seconds. If I should do so, then I get lifted out with all the stuff that I made. I mean, the, all that I, all the stuff that I gained, all the kills that I had on the way over. It is so very difficult to get to extract. I'm at like maybe 10% of the time making it. And my last calculations would be probably like two out of 10. And here we go. Still loading loot, creating loot pools. Another thing about this game is that it takes a while for it to connect because it doesn't have the ability to take on uh, I think it's them. It might be me. I don't know. But I get kicked from servers. And it's a common thing with people getting kicked from servers. I've done everything I can. But I believe that... Yeah, it's highly likely I'm going to die right away. I'm going to go in with a knife. Going into customs with a knife. I don't have much of a chance. If I went to Interchange, which is a different map, same game, but just a different map, I might have a better chance, but this is for learning privileges, right? We'll do it that way. If I should make it out, that's going to be pretty cool. Highly unlikely, though. Everything looks good sound on the audio is good, sound on the desktop is good. Nice. It took a while to get my settings in OBS correctly. Correct. Yeah. Always a work in progress, this YouTube stuff. <clears throat> Pretty soon they'll up the resolution, so now I'll have to get a new computer and up my resolution. Because I'm taxing my system right now. 
my iMac with a partition tied hard drive. This is a really good computer, but I decided to go from what I used to do, which was graphic design, to making YouTube videos. Well, because graphic design is kind of done. You know? Who needs art in a pandemic, right? That's fine. I will use my own art to do something different. Yeah, I've been making so many products for people all my life. It was time I created my own product. I play video games for fun. This is a product now. It's 2021. This is a product. There's a lot to learn. Waiting for other players is something that I do quite often. Waiting for six minutes. Sometimes I guess that's that's the norm. And I just gotta talk to this microphone. Oh. This is the game though. <sighs> waiting. There's a lot of waiting, a lot of creeping, a lot of frustration. It's brutal. Escape from Tarkov, it should be called Waiting for Tarkov. There's just so much waiting involved. It might let me in right now. There we go. Usually at the end of 10 seconds right here. It'll come online. Alright, let's position myself for an aggressive play here. And as I come online, my life is threatened. I am in serious danger. player scab, so if anybody sees me, they're going to kill me. What is that? What? What is that? I've never seen that before. Bullets. That's why, because there's nothing in it. Okay, I need to get inside there. One, two, three, go. I do not have a weapon other than this butter knife. Anybody sees me, I'm a dead man. There's the truck I need to get into. Yeah? You think so? What's that? What is that? Well, okay. What is that? What ammo? It's just ammo. Ammo for gun that I for a gun that I don't have. slow. What is that? Whoa. What is that, dude? Why is this thing so slow? This is not safe. How, how do I... How do I disengage it? Okay. Yeah, I need to get into that truck. But I know that there's scabs here.
Am I fine? Yeah, I'm fine. Tell me where that's coming from. <gasps> you see that dude? He is not with me. He's leaving a trail. Yeah, this is it. Unlock. Okay, open door. Okay, what's inside here? What, what, what is inside here? Oh no, you're kidding me. Okay, oh that's trouble, is that trouble? <clears throat> Where's my shadow? No. 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 No, oh, this is too dangerous. This is too dangerous. Um, how do I get out of here? Risk my life right here. Go. Go. One. Okay. It's gotta be something here. Be something. Be something. Well, what? What? I've never had that before. Well, I just got gifted some luck. Okay, don't get rid of that yet. Okay. Still don't have a gun. Still can't. If I get caught by a flare scab, I'm dead. If I go up there, I'm dead. My only chance is here. Go. Train tracks. Okay, there is a loot box over here. Oh, I thought that was a dude. There's a loot box. There's a loot box somewhere there. Hold on. I lost track of where I'm at. Going over here. Well, already with that teapot, I don't know what that does. I don't know what that gets me. But I've never seen that before. Hard drives are always good. A screwdriver. Okay, that's fine. I would have liked a gun. Whoa. in there. That's the gas station. There's money in there. Don't want money, bro. Just want a gun. That's the objective. I'm 
sometimes there's scabs here too. I'm a PMC, so they're gonna kill me if they see me. I'm going to that loot box. Out by the trash can. Whatever happens, happens. I don't have a gun. This is really how I play the game. I mean, if I go in with a gun, I'm going in specifically on a mission and I usually die. If I go in with a knife, somehow my confidence, my worry, where is that thing? My loot's almost ready to go. Money. Salewa, you go. Salewa, you go. Take 700. That's fine. Damn it. Um. I don't even know. I don't even know what that even means. So much to learn about this game. You know? If you're a military buff. You're like, oh, that's 762 BSX. That's got the, uh, I don't know, titanium point or whatever. So many things about weapons. I draw things for a living. But, I used to. so dead. I got a weird feeling. I don't need cigarettes. I'm ready to go. That's important. And that's important. I don't think I need food. I'm good to go. 76? What is this? Oh, fuel? Yeah. Oh, hello. Some eyewear. Okay. What to put in? Yeah, bullets? I don't care. I don't... Dude, the likeliness of me not seeing anybody, they, would, they, they should be all here. I should be coming across, like, at least everybody in five seconds. A gun! Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, I, I have some shots. Man, how did he get me? That's not good for me. I got a shotgun. I got a little pistol here. Don't shoot me. A lot going on right there. Okay, what am I going to ditch? Uh, I want this to go. This to go in. Um, I'll take this. Put that there. I'll take this. Put this here. Put that there. Take that. Uh, one more thing. Sorry. I can take one more thing. I'll take that. I think I'll get money for that. an extract? Is this where I go? Look at that! Ah! Alright. Now I made that look easy. That is absolutely not what happens in this game. 
That is rare. So let me show you what happens when you extract. So when you extract, it gives you what happened, yeah. Uh, did I shoot anybody? No, I got a weapon, yeah. That's good. Kicked me up to four. Oh, I went to four. Nice. Good experience. Uh, so I got shot. That dude had a shotgun, and I had a little pistol. So that's what you get. character. And this is all the stuff that I just acquired. I still have this. And now, let me show you what it's like to go in with weapons. And the arrogance that leads to death when you do so. So hold on one moment. Let me... All these items are very, very important. What they're for, I really need to do the research to figure all that out. Now the Salewa comes with me. And some things need to get sold. So let's do this. Let's create a little pile here. Of the things that I don't need nor want. <laughs> the glasses aren't important. You sure you look cool? Is that really why you're playing the game? There's other games for that. Like Fortnite. Fortnite is fun. Just pure fun. This game, a, a bit more complicated. So these are the dealers. And Mechanic is somebody that I go to constantly. Because it's just easier for me to process the information quicker. And he'll buy all this stuff. And you don't want to sell him too much, you know. So, let's... I'm already not liking... Yeah, see, I'll ditch all this. Simply because I just don't care right now. Wrenches. I don't know what those are for, anyway. I know that the pliers are important. But not for right now. I'm collecting digital stuff. That'll do. These are important too. I just don't know what forge as of yet. Look what I got here. This thing's worth a lot. But there again, you know, just got 12,000 rubles, which is perfect. Now let's go look at this right here and see if I can't sell this hat. Anything else I want to sell? See, that's 933 right there. So you want to make money. You want to make money so you can buy stuff. Like water. Which costs money, see? It's 12,400 rubles for a water. It's quite complicated. So you got to watch yourself. This is all my stuff. I want to ensure that. Okay. I don't need two weapons. I'm not that good. I will insure that though. And the insurance comes in handy if nobody picks up your stuff. So you lose your stuff in a raid. Is that full? That's empty. What do I want to do? Let's go to main menu. Escape from Tarkov. Oh, I can be a scav. That's very helpful. Okay. So I'll show you what it's like to be a scav. And we'll go to factory, which is a very close kind of situation. Okay, so 3.30 in the morning or 3.30 in the afternoon. I'll choose the afternoon, because if you do that in the in the morning, the darkness within that, when, within this particular map, particular map, will uh, be too dark. So it's just pitch black. Oh, see, I got one of these things. Oh, one of those face mask things. Nice. It's matching, so I shouldn't be ready. I should just sit back. 
take a moment. This is Escape from Tarkov, the factory. It's a very close environment. It's like being in a building with eight people and whatever happens, happens. I think there's eight, I don't know. It feels like there's four of four, you know, when I watch YouTube videos of it. In case you didn't know, this is a Russian game. So anything that is online, anything that instructs you how to play this, was created by players. And I fully appreciate that. It's such an interesting community. One that I'm not really part of, but I am playing. Go. Just go. Gotta get advantage here. Get an advantage. Feels like he's behind me. I don't want to get caught looting somebody's body. But I'm going to do it. <gasps> oh, I can't. Oh, everything is already taken from that guy. What's that? Nothing. I thought it was a bag. What? Office window? What? Everything's already been taken! Tape. I got tape. Yay, tape. They sent me in here to risk my life for artist tape. Oh, duct tape. Oh, yeah, two rolls of it. Priceless. Priceless raid. Fine. Are you for real. What? I'm extracting? Dude, I, I didn't know that that was even possible. Didn't know that I could even do that. I walked right into that. Okay. Okay. So I got a couple of pieces of tape and an Uzi. Alright, so right when I extract, I get all the things that were... Oh, look at that. Two pairs of glasses. Okay. Well, that is very cool. I am stuffing this bag and taking this bag with me. Uh, that'll go here. Eh, shh, probably not a great place to put it. That's a PP91. I have a PP91, don't I? PP19. Did I just dyslexia that thing? PP91. That's a PP19. Why would they do that? That's just not intelligent in my... Okay, whatever. So that's what you're going to do. Okay, so that goes there. Uh, let's just sell that. Get rid of that. Where can I put it, though? Nowhere. You see, you have to put it in your inventory, or else you can't keep it. Um... Is there any of this empty? Hold on. Oh, see, I don't want to start mixing this stuff up. Yeah, see, that can go in there. Um. Yeah. Okay, that didn't help me at all with space. Um. 
and start moving the digital down. I liked my knives all up in that row, but unfortunately it's just not working out. I wanted to keep that knife. Nope, that's the original knife that I got. The special one. Yeah, you got a Tetris, this type of thing. It's not... It's not as easy as everybody would think. That needs three. Darn it. Okay, so that's what I'm working at right here. Let's go do this. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I don't know what it does. Fine. Fine. Okay. Start making room. Wait, wrong button. No, my PC. Come on, PC. Press the wrong button. And for that, I am sorry. Please take me back in. Thank you. All right, so now I get to keep that. I'll put that there and these things just disrupt my whole organization here. Okay, so now that I've cleared that all into my loot inventory, I can click next, next. It'll just take me right back. And this is where we spend our time. Organizing. All right, now let's go in to a different map. Let's go to PMC. Let's go to interchange. At three in the afternoon, ready up. This is like going to the Home Depot if Home Depot was in a militarized zone. Someone sent you in for some Windex. About a half mile away. Your extraction point is about a half mile away, so it's like one mile. Go half mile in, gather what you need, half mile out, and make it to extract. This is a horrible gun. Has no sight. I fire it when I'm panicked. Dead end. There's a hole.
Oh, there's more than one shooting at me. More than one shooting at me. More than one. And that is how it happens. Ooh, brutal. Now I lost all my stuff. All that stuff that I gained is now lost. Now I wasn't sure, but I was moving carelessly. And then you have to heal yourself and that costs money. There you go, next. And that's a good, that's a good full lesson for Tarkov right there, from start to finish. You know, I did want to go back and change where I sit on this game. So, like, I'm in the right side right now of the screen, and that's not working for me because YouTube... YouTube puts my logo when I stream live on the bottom right. And if my face is in the bottom right, it's a problem. So I'm switching right now. So here we go. Now I'm on the other side of the screen. It works better for streaming live. I get it. Let's see how it works with the game. I'm, I'm not too used to being over there. So, from now on, this is where I'll be. I'll be on the left. Uh, look at my character. See, there's nothing there anymore, because all of it's gone. So let's go to Messenger, and the Messenger tells me, what, I've got a message from my guys. He's on a place and looking for your things. Everything that we'll able to find will bring to you. Don't sweat. Okay, it's improper English, but yeah. These are all the things I received back, you know. Kinda cool. Didn't make it very far, didn't need these keys. And uh, so that's gonna be it for me. And so I'll return to the main page and I'll see. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.